Hey everybody, what's going on? For today's review, I'd like to introduce you all to the 2011 Chevrolet Tahoe LTZ. For this review, we've come here to the enormous truck section at Classic Chevrolet, the nation's number one volume Chevrolet dealer, which is located in Grapevine, Texas. And on that basis, this is going to be an in-depth tour of the Tahoe. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over some of the performance details, as well as take a look at some of the unique and interesting aspects on both the interior as well as the exterior. And so, on that basis, let's go ahead and start it up, let the engine run for a while. This Tahoe is also equipped with the General Motors remote start system. Lock, hold down the button. And there you go. This particular Tahoe LTZ has the red jewel tint coat exterior. With dark and light cashmere perforated leather interior. Aluminum kick plates. This Tahoe has six miles on its odometer. Beautiful. You get a leather wrapped steering wheel. Very nice and smooth power assisted steering with a little bit of resistance in it. You get a six speed automatic transmission on the column. The manually selected gears by the plus and minus button on the shifter. And seeing that this one has the navigation package, it also does have a backup camera. Both the driver and passenger windows are automatic down. This Tahoe is powered by a 5.3 liter Vortec V8. Hood shocks are still fairly new. A little bit tight. Now let's see what that Vortex sounds like. Not a bad sounding engine. Very nice. Well, let's go ahead and turn on the lights, fogs, as well as the hazards. Now let's take a look at the exterior features of the Tahoe. The LTZ is pretty much the highest level trim level that you can get on the Tahoe. Only one even a little higher up is the Z71. Chrome clad mesh grille.
20 inch chrome clad wheels. This truck is not a four wheel drive Tahoe. Chrome clad power folding mirrors with integrated LED turn signals. Rear parking assist that goes along with the rear backup camera. This vehicle is also E85 compatible. You might think of the Tahoe as kind of the little brother to its predecessor or current older brother, I should say, the Chevrolet Suburban. Got the full length running boards. Shark fin antenna up top for the XM satellite radio. I also should mention that the Tahoe has now fallen to second best in terms of best selling vehicle that Chevrolet has ever made. It has now been demoted to second fiddle thanks to the 2011 Chevrolet Cruze. Prior to that, the Tahoe was the best selling vehicle that Chevrolet has ever made. Now that we've seen the exterior features, let's take a look at the interior. As I said, this one has the dark and light cashmere leather interior. See the wood accents. Power adjustable driver's seat. Full in-car entertainment system. And a power tilting and sliding sunroof. Pretty much all your power options are located here on the door. You have two person memory seating, two settings for the heated seats as well as cooled seats, powered mirrors, power, uh, power folding mirrors, power windows, and power door locks and window locks. And also the driver and passenger window are automatic down. Steering wheel mounted cruise and radio controls. As I said, this one does have navigation. Dual zone climate controls with automatic air conditioning.
You have your different temperature controls, as well as different zones. Front and rear defrosters and air recycling. This selection of buttons up here is for your trip meter and information center up front. I also should demonstrate how the top roof works. It's an automatic sunroof. Simply touch it once. There you go. Quite a good sized center console. Brilliant. Let's go ahead and turn the engine off now. Now let's take a look at the rest of the features of the Tahoe. Along with the in-car entertainment system, you have a second row captain's chairs. Side impact airbags integrated into the seats. It's actually quite comfortable in the back. You've got a bit of foot room. Also rear air conditioning. Also the iPod and um, audio jacks. Panasonic monitor. Rear lighting. Also some vents for the rear air conditioning. can see the foldable third row seat. Also the fold down armrests on these captain's chairs. Very nice. It also does have a power assisted lift gate. Has access by either the touch pad located behind this bar on the trunk or simply hold down the bottom button on the remote. The third row of seats is manually adjustable. Pull the button number one to pull the seat, number two to release, and three to pull up. Ugh. Then to release the seat, you push down on the number two switch, and then just simply pull the seat up. And to close the trunk, you can use the remote or simply push the button up top. The second row of seats is also foldable. They simply fold down and stow in order to gain access to the third row seats without having to climb over your second row passengers.
Passenger seats are also heated and cooled as well. Pretty farewell loaded Tahoe. And on that note, viewers, I hope you enjoyed this look at the 2011 Chevrolet Tahoe LTZ. If you have any questions about this particular lot, Tahoe or any of the others you may see on the website or on the lot here at Classic Chevrolet, please feel free to contact them at ClassicChevyTexas.com or come see them on their huge lot at Highway 114 in Grapevine. Thanks for watching, everybody.